In this module, we shall state and prove Lagrange theorem. If G is a finite group and H is a subgroup of G, then order of H divides order of G. Let's prove the theorem. The right cosets of H in G form a partition of G. So, G can be written as G equal to H A1 union up to so on H A K. Here, A1 up to so on A K are the elements of the group G and we form uh, right cosets from these elements which are H A1 up to so on H A K. Uh, as we know that all the cosets are uh, disjoint and uh, in this way we shall have the partition for a finite set of elements A1 up to so on AK in the group G. The number of elements in each K coset is order of H. We have uh, proved this. Hence, counting all the elements in the disjoint union above, we see that order of G equal to K times order of H. K is the number of cosets in G. In our partition, H A1 union up to so on H A K. So, in this way, we have proved that order of H divides order of G. So, we have established the Lagrange theorem. Therefore, order of H divides order of G. Now, we shall consider subgroups of Z12. As you know that order of Z12 is 12. There are 12 elements in the group Z12. Uh, the divisors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. It means that uh, the subgroups of our order possible subgroups of our order 1, ho sakta hai, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So if the order subgroup ka order 12, hai, is, it means that the, group, the subgroup is the group Z12 itself. And if the subgroup ka order 1, hai, so, this means that there is one element which is identity element. है. The subgroups of Z12 are H1 equal to singleton 0, H2 equal to 0 and 6 classes. If uh, you add 6 to 6, then 12 will come and you will get an identity element. Mil jayega, subgroup uh, उसमें आपने क्योंकि ये फाइनाइट सब ग्रुप है तो इसके लिए आपने जस्ट क्लोयर प्रॉपर्टी को चेक करना होता है तो फाइनाइट सब ग्रुप टेस्ट हम अप्लाई करके इसको इजीली देख सकते हैं कि H2 जो है वो Z12 का सब ग्रुप है इसी तरह आप सिर्फ क्लोयर प्रॉपर्टी को चेक करते हुए देख सकते हैं H3 जो है वो Z12 का सब ग्रुप है H3 कंटेंस 3 एलिमेंट्स 0 class, 4 class and 8 class. Uh, in the similar manner, we can find the subgroup of Z12 of order 4. And uh, uh, H4 gives us this subgroup. Uh, it contains 0, 3, 6 and 9. And in H5, you can see that we have uh, uh, 12 elements, uh, 6 elements, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So, uh, in this way we have found all the possible subgroups of Z12 by using the Lagrange theorem.